You're watching Good Day Siouxland with Mallory Smith and meteorologist Victor Perez from KCAU 9 News. This is Good Day Siouxland. Good morning and thanks for waking up with us for Good Day Siouxland. I'm Jason Taktaji and Mallory has the morning off. Victor, good morning. I know it's a very chilly one out there, but the wind making it feel even chillier. Yeah, sadly, we still have the problems with just cold temperatures, Jason, yeah. but even light breezes that make us feel colder. Right now, you'll see that as we're looking out from the KCA United Studio camera, you can't see it, but we're a little bit clearer than where we were at yesterday as we see that temperatures are definitely different from yesterday as they are closer towards the zero degree mark. Sioux City at one, zero in Lamar's and Wayne, and one below in Vermilion. Four below in Yankton and Canton at eight below. Very chilly conditions, which even light breezes that are just between five to ten miles per hour for most of us, though there are some above that, are going to be feeling a significant drop. Now, sadly, this is going to be sadly some of the warmer temperatures that we're going to be seeing this week. So we will keep an eye on them as I'll let you know just how cold it feels out there. Jason? All right, thank you, Victor. We'll be waiting a little longer to learn who will be leasing a Sioux City sports complex going forward. City Council told the two groups looking to take over operations at Riverside Sports Complex to go back to the table. It's our top story this Tuesday morning. Both the Arena Sports Academy and Westside Little League are bidding to oversee complex operations. We are Siouxland Proud. This is Good Day Siouxland at 5. Welcome back and thanks for joining us. It's currently 5.15 on this chilly Tuesday morning, especially with those wind chills. Yeah, very cold conditions that we got out there, Jason. But sadly, it's not as cold as we're going to be later this week. We've already talked a few times what we're expecting. And sadly, it doesn't look like it has really changed across the area. So right now we can see that the studio camera is still showing that conditions are quiet. If we had breezes like this the rest of the week, we wouldn't be too worried about wind chill warnings. But that won't be the case as temperatures right now are being reported close to zero degrees. You're watching Good Day Siouxland with Mallory Smith and meteorologist Victor Perez from KCAU 9 News. This is Good Day Siouxland. Good morning and thanks for waking up with us for Good Day Siouxland. I'm Jason Toktaji and Mallory has the morning off and joining us is meteorologist Victor Perez. Victor, good morning. Good morning, Jason. How are you doing today? Doing all right. Bitter cold out there, though. Yeah, that's the one thing that uh, I'd say I'm not too excited about for today and for the rest of the week. It's big, cold. Sh big shock for a guy from Las Vegas, but yep. we'll see conditions are not going to be improving, so Midwesterners should be a little bit more used to it. We'll see a cold snap coming up this week as right now we'll see that the KCAU 9 studio camera still shows conditions conditions that are clear and quiet, but we'll have temperatures that are close to zero or below it, especially out in northern Siouxland. Vermilion at two below, four below in Yankton, and seven below in Canton. You really warm up once you hit central Siouxland at zero degrees, and we even get to positives as you travel south. West Point at one, Omaha at three, but not if they came out there at one below. We'll see that dew points across most of the area are in the below zero, so we're not seeing visibility impaired. Still showing 10 plus for most of the viewing area, so roads are clear, something that we will not be able to say later on on Thursday and Friday, but that's getting ahead of myself. I'll let you know about that coming up. Jason? All right, thank you, Victor. Now we'll be waiting a little longer to learn who will be leasing a Sioux City sports complex going forward. City Council told the two groups looking to take over operations at Riverside Sports Complex to go back to the table. It's our top story this Tuesday morning. Both the Arena Sports Academy and Westside Little League are bidding to oversee complex operations. We are Siouxland Proud. This is Good Day Siouxland. At six. Welcome back and thank you for joining us. It's currently 6.15 on this Tuesday morning. We are continuing to track the cold weather. It's supposed to warm up a little bit more as the day progresses. But after today, not only is it going to get colder, it's also going to get snowier. Yeah, that's our forecast. We'll see some snow coming down. The accumulation has been trending a little bit downward, so that's good to see. What's not good to see is just how it's still dark out there. Wish that sunrise would be a little bit earlier as we see that conditions are still clearer, at least, as we see that moon making its way through. Now, going forward, we'll see that, that winds across the area are still being reported from the northwest and finally dropping a little bit by Yankton and Vermilion, much needed out there. 
Good morning, Siouxland. I'm Jason Taktajian with a quick news update. Now, Siouxlanders hitting the roads this week for holiday travel will be paying less for gas than they did in the 2021 holiday season. The national average for a gallon of gas, regular gas, is down to 3.17. That's about 18 cents less than it was this time last year. Drivers in Iowa are paying even less than the national average at $2.85 a gallon. That's down 17 cents compared to last year and down nearly $2 from the record high set this past June. South Dakota's average price is down to $3.07 compared to $3.20 for last year, and Nebraskans are currently paying an average of $2.93 a gallon. That's down 18 cents from the year ago average. And we're taking a live look outside now. Meteorologist Victor Perez will have your full forecast when we come back. Mostly land, most of the area right now showing temperatures are close to zero degrees or below it still as we see that below zeros are in Vermilion, Yankton and Canton still hit six below being matched over by that would be Bloomfield meaning temperatures are rather cold as we'll see that most of the area still shows that conditions are a little bit clearer actually can't see it too well here on the looping radar thanks to that fresh Coating of snow that we got yesterday with a 9 on 9 that will be coming up as we see temperatures today that will be reported close to 10 degrees. So not much of a change in temperatures there from our highs or excuse me from our lows this morning just gaining about 10 degrees but a drop from yesterday. We'll be gaining about another 10 tomorrow, but that's when we drop almost 20. Looking down from Wednesday through Thursday as we see a colder northern air mass moving in. Now, snow accumulation could be significant, but uh, the drop in temperatures from winds will also be significant as we're looking at Thursday and Friday. With temperatures dropping well below zero, frostbite can happen quickly from just a small amount of exposure. It can cause serious damage, too. We'll take a closer look at conditions through the weekend tonight. Tonight at 5 on KCAU 9 News. We are Siouxland Proud. This is KCAU 9 News at 5. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Sophie Erber. Now we know some extremely cold and snowy conditions are coming starting tomorrow. We've been talking about it here on KCAU 9. Joining me now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Larson to give us the very latest in this cold blast this week, and it's our top story at 5. Scott? Well, that's right, Sophie. It's already pretty cold out there for the time being, but it looks like that's going to become more intense in the coming days as we do have wind chill warnings that are posted in Siouxland. Those begin on Wednesday night. They continue until the middle of the day on Saturday. It's going to feel like it's between 30 and 45 degrees below zero for much of the KCAU 9 coverage area during that time frame. We also have some wind chill warnings here as we uh, continue forward, expecting to see uh, that cold air continue to carve its way into the United States. As you can see, there's even the possibility of wind chills below zero as far south as Texas and Louisiana associated with this system. It is the final countdown on Capitol Hill tonight. Negotiations ongoing for weeks, and Republicans say they're ready to move forward. How lawmakers are moving forward with our nation's budget, coming up here in just a few minutes. And snow showers are going to plug through Siouxland tomorrow and Thursday. That will be coupled with a very extreme wind. Wind chills are going to fall far below zero. A minor warm up for the weekend into Christmas. More seasonal conditions next week. Your 9 on 9 forecast next. You're watching KCAU 9 News with Sophie Erber and Chief Meteorologist Scott Larson. This is KCAU 9 News at 5. The extreme cold in Siouxland creating problems for car owners. People like to warm up their cars, but officials say many of these vehicles end up in the wrong hands. Stolen had prevent loss tonight. Tonight at 6 on KCAU 9 News. Now, KCAU 9 News starts with your forecast first. Good evening, Siouxland. Thanks for being with us on a chilly Tuesday night as we get a live scene outside from our Ho-Chunk Center camera in downtown Sioux City. It's brought to us by Port Neal Welding Company. As we look at temperatures out, they're currently sitting near zero. It is three degrees outside in Sioux City, zero for Orange City, two below in Sheldon and Esterville. And the current temperature is two above in Wayne. It looks like it's going to become much colder 
in the coming days. Here's a look at our planner for tonight. We should expect to see the temperature sink to two degrees below zero early tomorrow morning with some increasing cloud cover as well. We're tracking some snow coming our way tomorrow and Thursday. Details on how much will fall in that cold blast of air coming our way in the nine on nine forecast. KCA Unite News at six starts right now. We are Siouxland proud. This is KCAU 9 News at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Sophie Erber. And I'm Tim Seaman. With a winter storm taking aim at Siouxland, dangerous conditions are expected at home as well as on the road. Right, AAA says winter storms, bad weather, and sloppy road conditions are a factor in almost 500,000 crashes every year. It's our top story now at 6. Local law enforcement tonight sharing some tips on how drivers can be more careful during the winter storm. Make sure to drive slower by adjusting your speed, of course, when driving on snow and especially on ice. Be more cautious, accelerate and decelerate slowly. Well, one server got a surprise early Christmas present. Christmas presents come in all shapes and sizes. How this particularly large tip picked up a lot of attention. That's coming up. But first, let's check back in with Scott. Thanks, Tim and Sophie. Expecting to have some snow showers tomorrow and Thursday. Wind chills are going to be very far below zero. A little bit warmer as we get into Christmas this weekend and more seasonal next week. Your 9 on 9 forecast straight ahead. You're watching KCAU 9 News with Tim Seaman, Sophie Erber, Chief Meteorologist Scott Larson, and Sports Director Anthony Mitchell. This is KCAU 9 News at 6. It's going to be a mostly cloudy and bitterly cold night with a low temperature of two degrees below zero. Some snow is coming tomorrow and Thursday. We'll have details on how much will fall tonight at 10 on KCAU 9 News. We are Siouxland proud. This is KCAU 9 News at 10. Hey, good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tim Seaman and I'm Sophie Erber. Cold temperatures are here to stay in Siouxland and that's a problem for car owners. Indeed. KCAU 9 reporter Nick Wilson tonight sharing how Siouxlanders can prevent car theft and other mechanical problems during these bitterly cold days. That's our top story at 10. Thanks. While many people like to warm up their cars in the morning, law enforcement officials say too many of these vehicles end up in the wrong hands. Well, still to come, Ukraine's president is expected to visit Washington, D.C. tomorrow. That's right. What the details are for his trip to the United States. That is coming up. But first, the House Ways and Means Committee voted to release former President Donald Trump's tax returns. Details on that report coming up next. You're watching KCAU 9 News with Tim Seaman, Sophie Erber, Chief Meteorologist Scott Larson, and Sports Director Anthony Mitchell. This is KCAU 9 News at 10.